In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to freeze rows and or columns. So I have a uh, calendar set up here with uh, random numbers entered. And let's say I want to freeze this top row here. So I can highlight the, the row here and click on the View tab and then go over to Freeze Panes and let's freeze the top row. So now when you scroll you'll see that the top row remains visible even though I scroll through. And this is great if you have a whole, like, just several rows of data that you want to, um, to be able to view, but you, know, you want that top row there. So I'm going to unfreeze panes by clicking on freeze panes and then unfreeze. Um, so now let's say you want this left column here because you're going to just keep adding and adding and adding. So we're going to click on column A, go up to freeze panes, and freeze first column. There we go. So now if we go over, you'll see that that first column stays there, but the rest of the data moves. So we'll go back up to freeze panes, unfreeze. So say we want to keep the top row and the first column both frozen because we want to be able to adjust the information uh, however we want. So I'm going to click in this first cell here that we want unfrozen. So we want above it and to the left of it frozen, but not from here on out. So I'm going to go up to freeze panes and select freeze panes. Now you'll see it, it popped in this line here and this line down here. So it not only freezes it um, to the first row, it freezes, it freezes the columns too. So just a handy trick, you know, it, it, it just makes things a lot easier if you've got a bunch of data that you want to see. And you can always undo it by clicking on freeze panes and unfreeze panes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my blog at sallyu.com and have a great day.